It's the site where the original vines were first planted in the country. Nowadays that landmark is home to the Royal Botanic Gardens. Those original beginnings have now been revisited through the support of Tyrrell's Wines, with cuttings from the oldest vines in New South Wales donated to the gardens. I thought it would be really cool to get um, the oldest vines in New South Wales, which are here on Neil Stevens' property. Uh, we got some cuttings propagated and then put them back and return them to the Botanic Garden. So it was a bit of, bit of back to the future for them. The planting of the Shiraz cuttings brings together a uniting of the ages. With the gardens established in 1816, Tyrrell's Wines in 1858 and the Stevens Vineyard in 1867. Whilst the future is where it is, often the path to the future is found in the past. As the country's oldest scientific organisation, the planting of the vines is rather fitting, with the herb garden now home to the cuttings. It's cuttings from these exact vines that have now been planted at the gardens, where they will be preserved for posterity. As the Shiraz varietal has the ability to adapt to a vast array of environments, we could one day see the Royal Botanic Gardens produce a drop of their own. Luke Hislop, Hunter Highlights.